welcome back to BNA Crafts. I'm Asanet, and today I'm going to be going to a Chris Tomlin concert. I'm very excited to be going. This will be my second concert um, ever. My very first concert was with Casting Crowns, and I really liked it. So I'm very sure that I'm going to like this Chris Tomlin concert a lot, especially since Torin Wells and Pat Barrett are going to be there. I'm very excited to be going with my husband and with my little sister. Uh, it would be my little sister's very first concert as well. She's never gone to a concert, so I'm very excited that her very first concert will be a Chris Tomlin concert. So, as you can see from the title of this video, today I will be bringing you along as I get ready for the Chris Tomlin concert and then I'm going to take y'all along with me to the Chris Tomlin concert and obviously due to copyright policies I won't be able to provide you any music from the Chris Tomlin concert but it's okay we can still have some footage from the event. So right now as you can see I don't have any makeup on I'm just going to be bringing you along as I get ready and I'm going to go ahead and get started. And I like to put my hair behind my ear so it just doesn't get in my face and I'm going to be starting off by applying some primer by Benefit Cosmetics and I'm pretty much going to add just a little bit to my T-zone. The next thing I'm gonna do is apply my foundation and I like to use the Huda Beauty foundation in the shade Latte and I'm just going to be applying one squirt and using a beauty blender, I'm gonna dab it in a little bit and start dabbing on my face. Alright guys, so next I'll be moving on to my concealer and I use the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and this one is in the shade Fair Neutral. I'm just going to be applying a little bit under my eyes, the ridge of my nose, a little bit above my eyebrows in the middle and beneath the cheekbones. And then taking the pointed side of my beauty blender, I'm going to be dabbing it in to blend it all out. Alright, so moving on, I'll be applying powder to my face and I like to use the CoverGirl Clean Professional Powder and this is in the shade 105. And what I do is I add some to the lid of my container and I have another beauty blender that I use specifically for powder. And I basically just dab it in the powder and then dab it in my face. By the way, for those of you who don't know, my husband also has a YouTube channel. He just started his out not too long ago. And my sister-in-law also has a YouTube channel that she just started out. So if you would like to go and show them some support, I'll go ahead and link their channels down below. Alright, so I'm done powdering my face. I try not to add any powder to my lid area for the reason that eyeshadow is already going to go there. and. If I apply powder now, then the eyeshadow probably won't stick as well. For my bronzer, I'm using one from Hard Candy. I'm not exactly sure which one it is. I've had this for a while now, but I can't really read which specific bronzer it is, but it's one by Hard Candy. I'm just gonna be adding some bronzer to my cheek area with this brush. I just blasted your screen with my big old face. <laughs> For my eyebrows, I'll be using an angled brush and I'll be using this Dip Brow Pomade by Anastasia Beverly Hills in the shade Medium Brown. Alright, so now that I have my eyebrows done, I'm going to be moving on to my eyeshadow. And I tend to like to do my eyeshadow pretty neutral, just my makeup in general pretty neutral. Um, I don't like the popping colors, I feel like it just doesn't go with me and apart from that, I'm not an expert at makeup so I try to stay pretty neutral. Here I'm going to be using the Revolution palette and this pretty much just has neutral colors. This is an Amplified 35 palette, I think the name might be Socialite, 
not really sure if that's the name on there. All right, I'm gonna be starting off with this flat brush here and I'm gonna be taking a really light shade here and applying it to underneath my brow bone. Next, I'm gonna be taking this small fluffy brush here, really light brown color. I'm gonna be adding it to my crease area and blend it out a little bit outwards towards my brow bone. And then taking this same fluffy brush, I'm gonna be moving on to a little bit darker shade of brown. And I'm gonna be adding it to the outer corner of my eye. And then to finish off my eyeshadow and give it a little bit of a shimmer, I'm gonna be applying this gold shimmer right here. And this is an eyeshadow palette by Navi and I'm gonna be taking my flat brush again applying some of that into the inner corner of my eye next I'm gonna be moving on to some eyeliner and I'm using this eyeliner by Sephora and it is waterproof it's in a felt tip pen like this I'm gonna go ahead and apply this off camera because I need to get really close in order to see so I'll be right back after I do my eyeliner. All right, so I just finished my eyeliner. Sometimes I do a wing, sometimes I don't. This time I didn't, because we know that when we try to do a wing, it hardly ever comes out perfect. Lastly, I'm gonna curl my eyelashes with this eyelash curler, and I'm gonna apply some mascara. The mascara I'm using here is by L'Oreal. It's this Voluminous Lash Paradise in the shade R802 or blackest black. So I'm gonna go ahead and curl my eyelashes and I'm gonna add the mascara. All right, so I'm almost done. One of the last things that I'm gonna be doing is adding some highlighter. Here I'm just using this fluffy Morphe brush in the brush M510. And to be honest, I don't even use like a specific highlighter. I just use a shimmery eyeshadow. For example, the ones off of this palette. I'm just going to be combining the gold and the whitish silver. I'm just going to be adding it here. So, see? So it works. I take this really tiny brush and do the same thing underneath my brow bone and on the ridge of my nose and above the lips a little. And obviously a makeup look cannot be complete without using a lipstick or lip gloss. I'm gonna be using this L'Oreal lipstick in the shade 762 in the color of wine. And then on top of that, I like to use this NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream and this is in the shade London. So I'm gonna be adding the wine color on the bottom. And then to give it like a brown look with the matte effect, that's when I add the next lip cream on top. And that is it for my makeup, guys. I'm gonna be moving on to just straightening my hair, maybe put a few curls in there, and then I'll be back to show you what I'm gonna be wearing. I'm just gonna give it a few little curls. I'm gonna be using my straightener. I love to use the straightener. It like turns on and it heats up in like less than a minute, so pretty good straightener. Uh, this is a cheese straightener. Not really sure which model exactly, but it looks like this. And I got it from JCPenney. I'm gonna wait for this to heat up. I usually turn it on once I'm already doing my mascara because I'm telling you it heats up in like less than a minute. <laughs> I'm just gonna wait and while that, there it goes. <laughs> it's already heated up, but I'm gonna go ahead and just brush my hair. I'm just gonna add a few curls. So that is one side all curled up. I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the other side and I'll be right back. All right guys, so that's both sides completed. I'm gonna go ahead and put my outfit on and we'll be ready to head out. So you guys know that I had curled my hair but it pretty much went down because it's so humid here in Houston. I mean, then again, when is it not? <laughs> Anyways, I'm here with my little sister. She'll be accompanying us. So, hey. This is my little sister, Edie. What's up, guys? Her name is Edie. Uh, anyways, and we're waiting on my husband. We're about to leave. 
Oh, I'm so excited, but it's so hot. <laughs> then again, it like gets cold out of nowhere. I mean, everybody else who lives in Texas pretty much knows. It's crazy weather. All right, so we just got here to the Cynthia Woods Pavilion. Um, oh my gosh, there are so many people and cars everywhere. It was hard to find a parking spot. Obviously, I'm sure it's like that always. Um, I brought my jacket because it seems pretty windy. Here's my hubby. My sister. Yo. Alright, so. I'm ready. Let's what up? Hi! <laughs> Just didn't quite get the full blessing. That's okay. <laughs> it's all good. 
He's probably had an influence on your life, but didn't even know it. He wrote this little song called Good Good Father. You know, I'm so thankful that God uses imperfect people to accomplish impossible things. Some of y'all need to say amen a lot louder. Because if we were to dig up our past, thank you, Jesus, that our past went in the grave. <laughs> and Jesus came out alive. 
with our forgiveness in him. You know, I've realized this over the last year, that image is overrated. <laughs> Stages are overrated. The googly eye Snapchat filter. <laughs> overrated. Because Jesus did not die for the image that we project. Jesus died for who we really are. In fact, Scripture says that God demonstrated his love toward us and that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. That's good news. Because we all get to stop performing for the approval of people and we get to start living from the affirmation of the Father. And the affirmation of the Father beats the approval of people every day of the week. The show is over. Because the same walls that we build to project our image are the same walls that imprison us with our pain. Some people, the more they get to know you, the less they like you. Some people, the more you get to know them, the less you like, don't look at the person next to you. You could be like that. You've been married a long time. Be a bad moment. But the reality is that Jesus, he knew us from the very beginning and thought we were to die for him. There's this quote that says, to be loved and not known is comforting, but it's superficial. To be known and not loved is our greatest fear. But to be fully known and truly loved is what it means to be loved.
crazy how fast he learned. Like, I just... <laughs> Incredible! I mean, come on, Houston's own Torrin Wells. That is Like when we were in rehearsal, we were just like, okay, which song goes into which? Which song goes to the next song? How's this song feel if it goes to this song? That kind of thing. You know, like really trying to find it where everything just fits perfectly. So we're, we're in rehearsal, we're doing all the songs, and then Torrin does that. <laughs> What, what am I supposed to do now? What am I doing? <laughs> so if it's okay, we're just gonna take a break from here. We're just gonna cool off. We're gonna sit back.